this. Are we any apologies? Just from the chairperson? Yes, we have one, one apology. Sinead Ennis, the chairperson, has apologised. Are the members aware of any other apologies? We're here to the next item. Uh, is any declarations of interest? Uh, yes, Chair, or Deputy sure. Chair, I have a declaration of interest in that, uh, first of all, I have joined the committee and thank you very much indeed for that. I also wish to raise an apology that I'm going to have to leave at 10 to 2, uh, 13, 15 in Navy speak uh, because I'll be chairing the Finance Committee. And I have a declaration of interest that I have raised a complaint against an, an MLA, so that, just so that you're aware of that. Okay. But just to declare an interest that I am a member of the um, All Party Committee on Higher and Further Education, I understand that as an item of business today. <coughs> okay, members. Members, uh, everyone, all members are obliged to declare any relevant financial or other interest before during each committee meetings. Uh, do you have any new members of any other interest to declare? No. Okay. And again, members should remind it that they should declare a membership of proposed uh, all party groups. For example, this applies in terms of the business under agenda item 5. Okay. Draft minutes of the meeting held on the 30th of September 2020. Uh, for our members to draft minutes of the meeting held on the 30th of September 2020. And on pages 6 to 12 of the meeting pack. Are members content with the minutes? Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. Yes, everyone can that. I will sign the minutes here. Not of horizon decision made decisions made understanding order one fifteen nine. And uh, 12.45 p.m. Um, advise members that an amended starting time of 12.30 for committee meetings was agreed under provisions of Standing Order 115.9 since the committee last met on the 30th of September. However, it was subsequently necessary to further amend this to 12.40 to facilitate broadcasting changeover between committees using the room. Therefore, the 12.40 start time will apply until circumstances change and there's less need to use Starleaf. <coughs> Advise members that they are content. The updated decision will be formally recorded in the minutes of proceedings today meeting. <coughs> members content? Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Remain members, uh, at the last meeting on the 30th of September, it was noted that the chairperson would need to meet with the committee on the 22nd of October to discuss joint work with the Assembly Commission on an unacceptable behaviour policy and potential implications for reviewing the Code of Conduct. This matter will be addressed further under Agenda Item 10. 4.3 Broadcasting Force Stream. Rain members that uh, at the meeting on the 1st of July, the committee will question the limitations of broadcasting only three meetings visually, using Starleaf and Create where it is possible uh, to stream a fourth meeting. I advise members that the matter has still been considered by the committee's and members' support office and a formal response will be issued in due course. However, the committee's decision to move the 12.40 start time has facilitated the use of Starleaf on one of the existing three broadcasting streams in the meantime. Software upgrade uh, to the AIMS Register uh, of Interest Database. Remain members that at the last meeting it was agreed that a request would be made to the Assembly's Information Systems Office to prioritise the upgrade of the AIM's database for the Assembly Register of Interest. A letter was issued and the Information System Office is due to meet the Committee Secretary with a view to prioritising this work. You can ask if anyone has any other matters arising from the last meeting. We're going to the next item of business, item 5, all party group APG update. I refer members to the briefing note found at page 15 of the meeting pack. 
inform members, inform members that the applications have been received to establish two new APGs, one on further or higher education and one on modern slavery. The registration items are the forms for these proposed groups can be found at pages 16 to 24 of the meeting pack. Remind members that under the rules which govern the APGs, the committee must consider whether to grant approval for the establishment of new groups. The committee may grant re recognition if it is content and the proposed group complies with the rules or may request clarification from the proposed group's chairperson about the application. As part of its considerations, the committee should be satisfied with the proposed purpose uh, of the proposed APG, including, for example, that it is in the public interest and that it has not been formed for their particular commercial uh, interests. I have two proposed all party groups on further and higher education asked. Can I ask the committee if it was content to approve the application for an APG on further and higher education, which is on pages 16 to 19 of the pack? Great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Proposed. Can I ask the committee to the committee content to approve the application for an APG on modern slavery? Which is at pages 20 to 24 of the pack, subject to the submission of the correct registration from, from which indicates the application de designations of the members. Members content? Yeah. Great. Great. Can uh, the next item of business we are to move to closed session in the, for the remainder of the meeting? Is that right? Yep. Okay. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29.